Hey guys, so uh, I wanted to make a tutorial series on this one game called War Commander. And uh, I realized there's not a shitload of tutorials on this. So I'm going to go ahead and make one where I'm actually talking and giving commentary. Okay, and then also, I broke my hand. Oh, yeah, pretty freaking painful. Yeah, they said it without using anesthetic because I thought it would be more painful to get the shot because I heard people screaming when they were giving them shots in the hospital. And then it turns out that it's really fucking painful to have someone snap your fucking bone in back where it's supposed to... I don't even want to talk about it. I'm, like, still spacey brain just thinking about it. It hurt like hell. Okay, so when you're below level 20, like I am, now I know I'm level 19, but I'm just trying to give some reference here. Um, you want to make a scouting one single unit that goes really fast and you want to go after all the level 10s and level 5s with a level 8 or greater Cobra. Cobra seems to be the unit. Um, you know, within about a day or two you could get level 8s and that's really soon. You just gotta get your tech center to like level 4 six I think I have mine or seven and uh, that only takes like a day or two um, and that's with the command center upgrade and then just put all your resource towards upgrading Cobra and then it takes about two hours to build one um, yeah even here I'm talking I'm taking a little too long but um, I was just just trying to give an example this is what you, you would do to be as quick as possible so you bring it here monsters you can see it goes pretty quick I think it's pretty much the quickest. I found a little patch of level 5 so I can do this tutorial for you guys. Then you go attack. And what you really do is you just send the aircraft, but here's the trick. Now this does make you take a little bit of damage, I've noticed. Um, but it gets shit done exponentially quicker, which is what I kind of want to do. Okay, so I'm just going to attack one of the little guys. Set him in the right direction boom and then he's gonna go ahead and attack that right but as soon as he kills everybody who's about to attack him make him attack this and then end the attack boom so cuz level 5 you're pretty much just going for the bonuses so you can clear these level 5s in less than you know 15 seconds and it gets you a hundred thousand plus resource so they're quite, they're little, they're little snack, it's little snack candy <coughs> when you're trying to build your resource amount. Uh, you know, I can kind of do level 20s, as you can tell, I've done two of them, but they're actually kind of uh, uber bitch to do. So I'm trying to stay away from it a little bit. Um, yeah, that's kind of a pain in the ass. They fucking, you, you attack them and you end up losing a bunch of units and it takes a bunch of health and it's just a giant pain in the fucking ass okay so like I said I'm not gonna go until he's done destroying all these uh, all the guys cuz I don't want him I don't want these ships taking any damage okay and then boom just go straight for it and then end the attack see three million metal right there boom just like that I got a decent roll and I'm totally filled up, which is exactly what I was trying to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to upgrade my Razorbacks right now because I heard they're like the unit lower level anyways that you want to have upgraded. <clears throat> now, I think the Rhino is the tank I see a lot of people using to take out buildings I'm not 100% freaking positive but I think I might upgrade the paladin too but I don't know 100% it looks like you know honestly I kind of want to use the Humvee but the Humvee looks like it's not gonna have enough range to really do anything but the Razorback kills shit long before it gets over to it 
and I just want to be able to stay out of range of all the annoying freaking towers out there. Because with the mega tank, with this, you know, if I can get range more than you know 340, I can stay out of range of the of the level 20 these guys, these turrets. <clears throat> as you can see right here but the problem is is they're not out of range of the mortars so I'm trying to figure out how to build an army that can take almost no losses for level 20 and that's not being the easiest thing in the world right now okay and then I'm just gonna show you again what to do just just exactly how quick you can pull through quite a few of these at once using this as a demonstration so then I go again attack as you can tell this is a higher level one meaning um, it should have a higher roll now uh, believe it or not you have to if you attack level 15 pluses you get special ops now I'm no most players are gonna know that but not everybody who is new to the game and who's low level might necessarily know that so that's why I'm just saying right now um, you know let's go ahead and attack gonna go ahead and kill those and then just let it Fucking destroy that those guys and then attack that shit. And then the attack. See? Got my hundred thousand oil. And then I'm gonna go attack this one. And like I said, as long as you keep them at these units, it should be fine. Um like I said, upgrade the shit out of your freaking cobras or um, copter drones. I'll just show you. Uh, um, I didn't know, but you can disband broken things in platoons. So I've been using a lot of soldier units and just disbanding them, so I don't have to repair them. It's kind of annoying. Um, don't want to waste the resources. Okay, so um, where is it? Oh yeah, here. These things, they're really good until you get this um, you know if you're looking at to destroy a bunch of level fives then just upgrade the shit out of this um, I'm not gonna use the Warhawk yet I am waiting for <clears throat> I am waiting for the elite Warhawk from this because the elite Warhawk I heard has really good fucking range and I want to be able to have really good range when I'm attacking stuff and my ultimate goal is to get wait where's the loading prizes is to get the hellstorm because I heard the hellstorm is like the bees fucking knees of everything you could get it's supposedly really awesome and then I also kinda wanted to get the reaper drone because I heard the reaper drone can go after air units <coughs> And it's also just, it's really good. Oh, well, I gotta get the raptor first in order to unlock the hellstorm. Where's the raptor? What is the raptor? I don't even know. I was just seeing these things doing some crazy damage, the marauder. Um, they were attacking me, actually. Mm, ooh, elite razorback, huh? Damn. Yeah, some of these freaking uh, some of these unit rewards are really good in this event, but I'm not really gonna be able to do anything because I'm strong enough yet, and uh, it kind of sucks, but it's whatever. Okay, so yeah, that's about it. I mean, just uh, just just go after the uh, command centers of these things, and you should do just fine. Um. You know, there's really nothing else I can say about that. I mean, it's just, it's all about just trying to speed your way through these things um, to get resources as fast as you can. You know, it's it sucks because unless you're willing to spend money, and I sp honestly I spent like 10 bucks on this game, well, maybe 15, <clears throat> because I just didn't want to wait for a fuck freaking four hour rebuild time for a little three minute, uh, you know, like a instant mess up I did on something. It, 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 this game definitely has a good way of suckering you in on when you do like little mess ups and you just really don't want to suffer for it. Because like one time I had my uh, connection spit out and you know it, yeah I had to pay for it so it kind of pissed me off but yeah. 
Alright, well, that's about it, guys, and, uh, you know, it's about as easy as it is. Okay, guys, later.